was cellars filled with human remains. These people must have died a long time ago. Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition. There are some issues of the Innsmouth Courier lying here, and they're dated 1846. The window is smashed, and I can see the back alley. Nothing of interest. Holy shit! Ah, from the stench in here, this noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. Can't see anything of use. Nope, nothing important here. Nothing of interest. Hello, Jack. Do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackie? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay. Maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? Just leave me be, stranger. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? It's getting late, outsider. Folks know what's good for them are safely bolted in their homes by now. These odd-looking folks seem pretty hostile. They don't want to talk to strangers. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. I reckon you might have scared them off with that ugly face of yours. <laughs> With a good wind piping early in the towel and gallant man. Ha, <laughs> my boys, these are the joys of the noble and the brave who love a life in the tempest strife in the home of the mountain wave. When the driving rain of the hurricane puts the lights of the lighthouse out. And the growling thunder sounds his gong, and the whirlwinds battle out. Ha ha! Do you think that's the valiant shrink 
No, no, we were bold and brave. And we loved the fight in the wild blind night. In the storm of the mountain wave. The timbers creak and the sea birds shriek. There's lightning yon young glass. How to leave what mad redness. For the storm is gathering fast. Ha <laughs> ha, tonight, boys, we must fight. But the winds which shower our sail shall never scare the mariner in the wing gate seats. Huh? Who's that there? Who oh, can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok, that be my name a few few years in now. Zadok Helen! Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a young'un. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They'd not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? He just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young feller. Here be a little something in gratitude that might help you in your search. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> now you be calling me crazy, like them that star rumor in an anchorum in lip switch. But all say I've seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. <clears throat> Old Captain Mobit where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that would answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, uh, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Um, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man. I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, psst. Was a massacre. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. <gasps> Shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were known what was good for us. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all this? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? You just asked old Wes about oaths of Dagon. Aye, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Where did Captain Obit Marsh learn of these heathen matters? In war and foreign parts, 
The old fool I lent to ways of making gains, doing even things. He found a tribe of Kanukis in the South Seas led by a savage. Chief went by the name of Walakea. And his tribe never went without food, for they had all the fish they could catch. Old Obed 